Good morning. My name is Megan Edwards of Focus Communications, and today we're getting an update from Kuya Silver, which trades on the Canadian Stock Exchange under the symbol KUYA. And joining me today, we have President and CEO David Stein. David, thanks for joining us again today. Thanks for having me, Megan. Now, for our listeners, could you give us a brief introduction to the company and your silver projects? Sure. Uh, so Kui has uh, uh, been public for uh, almost two years, and uh, our flagship project is the Bethania Silver Mine in uh, central Peru. Uh, it's a recent past producing mine that uh, we, uh, we did a joint venture on initially with the, with the former owners, and then we bought 100% of it in 2020. Uh, it's a, a high-grade silver polymetallic mine, uh, that we're looking to make some improvements on and put it back into production. Uh, so we've been, uh, over the past few years, we've been doing, uh, you know, uh, de-risking the exploration, drilling off a, a, a brand new resource. Uh, we've been doing a lot of engineering, permitting very successfully, as well as uh, growing the project quite, quite a lot from, a, you know, a small mine scale property to a, a, re a real silver uh, district now. So, so that's, uh, that's been sort of the growth in the history of the Bethania project over the last few years. Um, you know, I, th I think what's, uh, what's kind of cool about Kuya and what's a little different than, you know, the vast majority of, you know, small or micro cap, you know, uh, silver companies out there is the fact that we, we can bring Bethania into production very quickly. Uh, so it, it, you know, it gives us, uh, it gives us potential for near-term cash flow that, you know, most other companies, uh, you know, don't have for many, many years. And so I think our exploration, um, potential, and, you know, maybe we'll talk about that is, you know, as good or better than most other companies out there. But the fact that we have the near-term development potential as well really makes Kuya kind of different and special. And I think a really, uh, you know, good investment opportunity. Mm -hmm. And last time we had you on, we discussed the Bethania district where you're currently operating. And today I, I want to focus more so on the growth potential at and around the mine area. Now, sure. to begin, as a refresher, could you provide us an overview of the maiden resource at Bethania? Sure. Um, all right. Well, so we um, we calculated our first ever resource uh, as a, as a public company in, uh, er, earlier this year, uh, in January, this came out, uh, after a, uh, a big, uh, drill program last year. Uh, so we've got, um, you know, measured or uh, indicated plus inferred, uh, resources of about, uh, you know, 10 million ounces of silver, 14 million ounces equivalent. Uh, and that's really just getting us started. Uh, we focused our drilling around the known mine area. Um, because that's where we want to go in and start mining, um, you know, right away. So that's what we focused on. And, you know, there we found really, you know, more veins and more silver than we had originally expected. It's been a very, you know, exciting kind of learning about the, the deposit. Um, we, we've learned a lot from the drilling. There's a lot more there than what was just known through the, the sort of tunneling type exploration that the previous uh, owners were doing. And, uh, and so that's sort of where that's our starting point right now. And, and obviously, we're now looking to grow that substantially over the coming years. And you seem to benefit from a fair amount of near surface mineralization at Bethania. Is further growth just the case of drilling deeper below the resource block? Well, I mean, drilling deeper is kind of like the low lowest of the low hanging fruit. Uh, because, you know, every everything that we've been drilling so far is, is open at depth, you know, all the different veins that we've discovered um, and that we have the, the current resources on are all open at depth. We're still very shallow in the, in this hill here. Um, you know, the deepest our, our resource extends would be about 230 meters. And that's just from one of the three vein systems that we've identified. The other two are actually even shallower than that at the moment. And that's really just a function of, of the depth of the drilling right now. Um, as I said before, everything is completely open at depth. And these types of deposits that we are, you know, that we have here, these, these uh, you know, uh, vertical or steeply dipping veins, uh, they can go hundreds of meters deeper than where we are right now. Um, you know, 400, 500 meters, even there's even a few examples over a kilometer uh, deep. And, and so there's a lot of potential at depth here. Now, that being said, 
we have so much more uh, land and, uh, and potential along strike as well, that that's another big growth avenue for us. Um, so here's a good, you know, here's a good example. Uh, we really, again, just because we're focused on the mine area, we, we concentrated our drilling on the westernmost kind of 500 meters of a 1.5 kilometer east to west uh, pro, uh, the mine concession. Mm-hmm. So, uh, and however, with our, you know, the surface work that we've been able to do uh, last year and also since the resource came out, we, you know, we're discovering, uh, you know, really exciting mineralization right at surface. Uh, on the other side of this hill, we've got a whole new zone here with with many, you know, several veins. I think we have six or seven veins identified over here called the hilltop zone. So it's very likely this will all connect together and and then, you know, go even further to the to the east here. So I think in terms of the immediate mine area, we've got the depth potential. And here's actually a good good way to look at it. So the depth potential would be the, our priority one, just because, again, that's 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 kind of the no-brainer just to drill this thing deeper uh and then we've got the hilltop zone which we know there's something there because we've got some you know very spectacular uh results at surface in fact our highest grade sample ever was at the santa elena vein Mm. and then uh uh which is the furthest to the east by the way and then uh and then in between and also off to the east you know we we see we see potential as well so this is Again, and we're not even leaving the mine concession here. We've got a lot more, you know, we've got a lot more land regionally to explore. But just the the Bethania mine concession, uh, we've got, you know, multiples of what we've drilled uh, so far to explore. Uh, Now, David, something we haven't touched on is surface sampling. You'd had a lot of success in sampling throughout the Bethania mine area. Can you run through some targets that have been generated that may not have been included in your PEA? Sure. Uh, so let me uh, let's this is this is a this is a map of the this kind of the surface of the westernmost about a kilometer east to west here. Uh, so it includes the hilltop zone and the main mine area. Uh, I'll draw on top of it just so you got you can see what we're kind of looking at. But, um, you know, the um, uh, so I'll, I'll use uh, I'll use yellow for the, the current uh, the current resource. So the current resource is kind of it includes this espanola vein here and the veins around it uh and doce de mayo and victoria and then some of these veins in the middle so it's kind of in this general area here now what we've been able to do uh with our surface sampling here is first of all we've we've discovered this whole zone here which is which we call the hilltop zone now if you notice these veins uh, they, instead of striking sort of east to west, they're more north-south. And uh, about a year ago, we actually didn't, we didn't own this, these properties to the north and south, but now we do. So these veins are open in this direction. So we've only really sampled them on the mine, the Thania mine concession, which is that pink colored property. But, you know, these look like they're going that direction and they're open to the north and south. By the way, Here's, here's the Santa Elena vein here. And that is where we've gotten the highest grade surface sample, uh, sur- surface samples, in, including uh, combined silver and gold, uh, up, up to 91 ounces per ton silver, plus and up to 11 grams gold as well. Now, the other really kind of interesting area that we, we, um, we have discovered very recently is this vein system off on the southern end of the property here, uh, this is brand new. We did not drill it uh, we, in our with our drillers with our drill holes in uh, last year because we didn't know it was there. Um, it's called we call it the Carmen vein. Now it's actually very gold dominated, uh, as opposed to most of our veins are silver dominated. So it's a little unusual, but um, but we got some very exciting results with uh, up to six grams per ton gold. You know, uh, plus plus silver. In, uh, in in some of the samples, uh, and it's and it seems to extend quite a ways as well. Uh, so we've kind of mapped it for. Uh, we think this is a part of it over here as well, and then it kind of goes like that. So that whole system would be you know uh, 800 meters, almost you know almost a kilometer east to west, and that is not in the resource either. So the hilltop zone is not in our resource. This is not in our resource. The Carmen vein. Uh, 
Um, and, uh, you know, uh, really every time we go and poke around here, we're finding new ve new veins. It's a very, very richly mineralized vein system. Uh, so what stands out on your long section map is the near surface resource block. Is this common for this style of deposits? I mean, it's definitely common for, um, you know, for these uh, epithermal deposits in, in places like Peru and Mexico where, you know, you, you typically will discover them in the side of a hill or a mountain. And of course, you know, the easiest place to mine is above ground. Uh, and so in our deposit, in, in the case of Bethania, you know, the discoveries were made at surface uh, up here. And then, you know, over the years, they, those first, the first do their first level here, and then they do another level here, and then they do another level here. So they sort of start mining it little by little going going deeper and deeper um so it, it actually is pretty common i think what is really you know an interesting opportunity for you know modern exploration now is the fact that we do have you know a lot more kind of capital and capability technologically to drill these deposits a lot deeper and find out how much there really is uh, uh there and uh, and then plan the mine around that so that's an opportunity that of course you know a, a small scale miner wouldn't wouldn't have had in the past uh but you know we we can bring that expertise to this type of deposit and add a lot of value that way mm -hmm. and to finish things off could you provide everybody with a quick overview of why they should keep an eye on kuya as we head into the final third of the year okay so look the the reason i think kuya is a great opportunity right now. Um, you know, obviously the market has been very beaten up. So the valuations, you know, for our sector are really attractive. Now, over and above that, uh, with Kuya, we've got, you know, two tracks to add value for our shareholders or even three, you know, if you sort of split off our, our Canadian project as well. And we intend to move all of these forward over the coming months and, and you know, and, and year. So, on the development side, you know, look for uh, some news from us as to, you know, how and when we're going to move our project forward into production very soon. And then on the exploration side as well, uh, we will we will keep, you know, delivering exploration results and growing the Bethania project. Uh, and we, you know, plan to do the same thing at our uh, Silver Kings project in Northern Ontario, Canada as well. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time today, David. We will be watching Kuya Silver closely and look forward to having you back on with additional updates very soon. Thank you. My pleasure.